Greetings, Internet, and welcome back to the dark place of Alan Wake 2, where we are... I thought we were on our way to go and talk to Thomas Zane. I think that's the idea. So we've escaped the TV studio, or we are escaping the TV studio, and we're now going to go and find Thomas Zane and have a little bit of a word about what he has said. There were so, so many meta elements in that. Right from the start, in 2010 or whatever it was, when Alan Wake came out, there were obvious... Yeah, you know, it. Uh, there, there was the obvious... What's the word that I'm after? Observation. Observation will do. The observation that Alan Wake awake uh sounded like a fictional character's name and it's been written into into this story but it ties into this idea that is alan a character that has been written into reality by somebody else in the grand scheme of things yes of course he has because he's a video game character but that's that's an even greater level of meta narrative in the the meta narrative of the story's meta narrative has alan been written into existence by another character within the universe that he resides it is a question that i'm assuming will get an answer but it might not and if it doesn't do i need to take this with me this just gets rid of the door, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. But again, th this is why I'm finding the narrative so well constructed and clever. Hey, to to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Same would know where to find one. Yeah, so no more payphone. We actually can go direct to him, can't we? Um, there are a lot more shadows here than there were before. Oh, there's also... Inside this messy maze of blood trails I was chasing the cult through, I ran into the filmmaker, Thomas Zane. An esoteric bohemian with a hard on for acts of cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is a cult leader any different? Was Zane just another alias for scratch? There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane. 
whatever means necessary. Wake. Huh. But we've actually got free rain here, so we could go. And grab quite a few things. And for example, what's there? What's here? Was that just the entrance? Or is there a word of power? Or what? Oh, there is a word of power. Word of fix. That was the healing one, wasn't it? That's... Okay. So, if we go... Because realistically, I want to try and avoid combat here because I don't have any flashlights. But there are a lot of enemies. The fact that there are steps leading down to that statue... Uh oh yes so maybe it was worthwhile getting the the marks on the map i think probably if i was to do this over again i would probably choose to go with the the inventory space instead yeah see they, these are all over the place what even was this building i forget oh that was up and over the yeah it's up and over there Yeah, there's a lot of shadows here. Right, are we going to be able to enter? Wibble, wibble, wibble! I'm really surprised that they haven't thrown some batches at me at this point. Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. Mm -hmm. What was this chapter called? Oh, have we had the chapter card yet? Because Masks was the previous one, wasn't it? Right, this was the projector room. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. Ah, yes, we need to actually... We, we interact with him via film, don't we? Oh, jeez. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head. Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You'd given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch, he promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He 
He was magnificent. A visionary. I mean, the lighting on this is very nicely light. done. Then, when he finished, he took a return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything! <sighs> that is not how I expected that to go down at all. So the in... Thousands have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me. When you're lost, you're lost in your own company. And cut! Oh. Now that is drama. Zane, but I had more pressing concerns. I that leads more credence to the idea that Wake is a creation of Zane's, a last ditch effort to get out. Because that's what Zane did originally. You know, it was. I don't remember the exact details, but in Alan Wake, Zane rewrote reality to to help us technically. But what if he rewrote reality to help us because he'd already written us into creation, but we needed an extra nudge? Zane's film initiation. I had to find the movie theater poet cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. So we're going to the cinema. This will be the last. The last murder site. This may even be the last Alan chapter, actually. Here's Johnny. Uh, oh, was that the monitors? Just such a weird noise. Um, I haven't put any batteries in the shoebox, have I? Probably not. No, I've put flare gun in. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And they're going to have to give us some batteries at some point. Because going through the, the last chunk of the Alan side of the story with in the dark place without batteries is going to be uh, an interesting one. Uh, the frame rate has taken a... Oh no, it's stabilized. I could see the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza. Follow the spotlights in the sky. Uh, 
I cl Clearly something's going to get in the way. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, reminder to self, do have flares that I can use. Right, the cinema's over here. I sneak. Give me batteries. Batteries! Ah, there has to be batteries because otherwise you're not going to be able to get through this bits. Nope, oh, it was locked from the other side. Ah, and this is going to have batteries in as well, yeah? Yeah. Really? Destroy what? Really sure how I missed with that, but well, I do know how it's being bad. Give me some bullets and batteries. Thank you, bullets and batteries. The door wouldn't open. Will it not open because it's got wibbly stuff on, or I don't know. Let's have a quick check of the map. Where are we? Oh, we're all the way down here. Uh, we're going round through the... Hmm. Unsure. I guess if we hang a left, we'll quickly find out. The Dark Place Poets Cinema. Yotnyo. Lightless Nights. Ah, that's what Artie was talking about. Ah. I must remember, I have a melee. Hmm. Interesting there's police tape there. Sheriff's Lion. That's a very specific word choice, isn't it? Alan Wake. No Alan Wake's here. Ooh. 
Uh, oh, there's a ladder there. That's probably of use. Ooh. Ooh. Inventory full. Yeah, I should have got there. Um, is that what this was pointing to? Is it pointing to the ladder? Whoa, the wibbles! The city was not real. I was limited to the confines of the dream. Thank you, Alan. I remember. Huh. Well, while I'm here... Hold on, I could just look at the map, couldn't I? Interesting, so it's not actually marked... Maybe it was just pointing to the cache? Uh, before we head up... Locked. The theater appeared to be closed. Maybe the ticket could still get me in. I think you can join the film, sir. Thanks. Okay. Oh, hello. Nothing in there. There are a lot. A lot of homeless and sleeping bags in this place. Oh, that's the the other side of that. You die here? Not if I could help it. But probably, yeah. Uh, right, we can almost certainly get in there now, but before we do that, let's go see what's on the roof. Might not be anything up here at all. in his image <laughs> just like us he is an uncaring cruel son of a bitch no having made it in heaven he doesn't want us there mm -hmm. dirtying up all that nice white upholstery and he doesn't want to reach down to help us he gets his kicks just binge watching us struggling hurting killing dying screwing it up again and again Lazily stirring it up when things threaten to get too placid. This city is only here to satisfy his sick, voyeuristic pleasure. Hmm. Yes, the uh, the concept of God as a reality TV junkie and we are his best program or his favourite program uh, is not an uh, is not a new one. But one I'm particularly fond of as somebody who loathes reality television. Right, we should be able to get in now, I assume. Yeah. There are no happy endings. See, the I lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. Hmm. Lobby. Well, this is a. Uh... How do you run from an idea, from a thought, from a story that lives in your head? You can't escape your fears. You carry your monsters 
monsters with you. The devil will be back. It's in you. You're running right back to it. I'll help. I have to stop. Stop running. Stop writing. I won't write another word. It's too dangerous. Only horror comes out of it. People get hurt. I will let the currents of this ocean wash me away. But what if I forget why I stopped? What if I forget I stopped it all? That is fucked up. If that happens, I'll start writing again. Did I uh -huh. stop writing at some point? I can't stop. There's too much at stake. Yeah, it makes you wonder how many times we've done this loop. Huge amounts of detail in the environments here. Weird little office. Oh, hold on. Yoink! Who puts that in the freezer? Right, we need to watch this echo, which I assume we're doing... From up there. Looking down into the lobby. I'm just tasting something. Okay. of fix uh health restored in safe havens word of action uh more damage in proximity right from here we should yep felt like I'd been on this case looking for the cult of the word for a lifetime or more. Mm. The only case I'd ever been on. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt them monumental terrifying revelation trembling before me hmm. ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole this place had significance to the cult there was something to use there and of course it does because it's it's the place where all of the different alan wake alex casey films are put on and they are devotees of his word Hmm. Right. Let us consult the plot work uh, plot board. Right. Oh. Right. So the whole front area is now curtained off. So we cannot look behind the curtain. You see what they've done there? Now, I, I mean, the general threads, I suppose, plot threads of the story are all about, you know, looking behind the curtain and what's there. Oh dear. Huh. 
I don't have the room for any of these things. Definitely don't have the room for that. No room for nothing. Thought there was an interact prompt on the hair dryer. Hair dryer? Hair dryer, yes. That's definitely what you dry in those. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. Interesting. Because obviously Casey barricades himself in the morgue. Um... Do I have to shoot it or? No. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me out. This. Yeah, see, we could get back here before. This still counts as the lobby though, so. The story. Is that going to get us behind the? Yeah, there we go. Map of the cinema. I thought that said confession standards. Like, that would be ironic, wouldn't it? Uh, I assume that's just for a cash rather than... Do you a lot of good to talk? Buddy. Buddy. It was an initiation ceremony. And so we made our new members believe. Two of New York's finest. They had performed the endless favors to earn their place among us. We had something special waiting for them. And something very special for you, Alex Casey. That's Ilmo. Who's your leader? Alan Wake? Hmm? Scratch? Zane? Give me a name! <laughs> you will meet him soon enough. Yeah, that's Ilmo. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. So, I guess it's, again, it's just details being pulled in? I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get... Oh, good. Oh, good. And again, that's a slightly weird issue when it comes to moving around doors. Right, that's now open. Oh, no, there is a thing on the roof. Words of action. Uh, yeah, let's, let's have all the damage. All the damage equals fewer shots equals more chances for me to stay alive. Okay, we can actually get into the theatre by the look of it. I really should use those flashbangs. I haven't. Let's just grab... inventory full I've literally just cleared it no because that takes two packs two packs two slots two pack the lighting throughout the game has been excellent and that's 
kind of obvious, isn't it? You know, of course it's going to be good. It's a game about light and darkness. You're going to want to make sure that your lighting engine is good. Theatre Hall. This place is a dump. I hope this isn't reflective of what American cinemas are really like. Oh, hello. Shit. Get out of it. That's me once again hitting control to use the flashlight. And I have no idea why. Because I've been playing this game for God knows how many hours at this point. And I am consistently... Oh, that was nice. Use a trauma pad, get a trauma pad. Get two trauma pads. Takes us back. Ah, there's a. Uh, that's from the projection room? Or is it from here? No, it's from here. The urban legends circling Thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. I'd done some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. Mm -hmm. But he only created one film, Tom the Poet, before he went missing, mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie, played by himself. Huh. The biggest mystery was around his lost film. Oh, which Artie has, of course, seen because Artie is Artie. Rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail. Just like Wake's books were. Hmm. I was expecting that to be a plot point, but it's not. Uh, didn't we see a set of steps or a door or something over here? Oh no, that was this. Uh, do I have another? I needed a new draft of the story, one that would get me ahead of scratch. Nobody here. Oh. See, they're all watching. Oh, they're not watching. I'm just sitting there. It's fine. Aha! There we go. You, following your master into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods pretending to be a secret society. Well, maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. 
Nightless Night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Huh. The... The inclusion of the actor playing Ilmo, I'm assuming it's supposed to be super obvious that it's him. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me out. But why? What is this? It's Casey. Holding my lamp. Was he playing? Me? <laughs> Zane's lamp on the screen. My lamp to him. Yeah, a bit busy, Alan, to be honest. <laughs> that was an awful shot. Uh, right, I'm taking light here. Or... No, I'm putting light here. Don't want to do that. Taking lights. Right, let's reload that shotgun. <laughs> the light of the lamp shone out of the screen and revealed the door. Did it? Where? Oh, there. I guess. Uh. I was back out into the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. Oh, hold on. No, this is a difference. Isn't it? Is it? I'm confused. Wake. Right, out in the night. I shall open both of these at once. For I have many skills. And that is one of them. Flare gun ammo, handgun ammo. I should probably use this flare gun ammo, shouldn't I? Because I've got... I've actually got a fair chunk of it. I also need to use one of these damn flashbangs. Because it's going to be that typical thing that people do in games. It's like, oh, that seems really effective. I'll save that for just the right moment. And you never use it. I needed a new draft of the story. One right. That would get me ahead. What does the cult of the word offer us here? That's the wrong button. It's because I, I, I keep going to crouch. Thinking C is going to, uh, C, control is going to crouch. It's like, no, that's not the way it works. That's never been the way it works in this game. <laughs> no, thanks. Oh, go to the roof and find where somewhere where someone I fell. The answer on the plot board. Yeah, we'll find it in a second, Alan. Let's go up. Or not. Right. I needed a new draft of the story. Hey, New York's finest. We were, we were, we were. The police car, not important to the story. All right, where's this lining up to? 
there. But Some of these are a little tricky to line up. this initiation do you nah i'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff N nothing to it well it's about time we paid our dues made plenty of their problems disappear dumped all those nobodies down that chute what we did or didn't do it's all behind us now we're going straight to the top partner yep like we died and went to heaven about the dying parts. The answer was close. Yoinked. No. Okay. But we've acquired some extra lights from that. Huh. Okay. I needed a new draft of the story. I don't think this is going to do anything. No, nope, never mind. In the city trapped in eternal night, they watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind. Almost like it's a dark presence. Oh, that's a light switch, I think. I thought it was a door latch that was in the wrong place. Um. I'll go down there. I should work this out on a plot board. Yes, I know. Um, right, so it's definitely not that. I a new draft Oops. of the story. One that would get me a head of scratch. Right, so we've got light from the police. But we need to put it somewhere where it is going to change the world Someone for had fallen us. to their death from the rooftop. How do we get up to the rooftop? Because this door is locked. Ah, hold on. Right, where's the other part of that? Is it from... No, that's, that's far too far away. Uh, and actually at the wrong angle. So that's not going to help. Uh, 
No, do... I feel like we need to be able to get back up there. Uh, right, let's re... Was the murder. I had to find my way to it. Let's reinitiate the police. See, that's no longer there. Well, actually, does this... This felt correct. Just changes. It changes that. W A. Am I trying to spell out wake? W A. Maybe. Maybe that's a bit too. I feel like I'm getting very far, unfortunately. Five minutes later. Ah. I was close to finding the solution. Can we? Aha! Aha! That was clever. Well done, game. Appreciate that. Straight to the top. The dirty cops lived down in the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. Yeah. New York's finest. Right. We be on the rooftop. So we need to get to we should probably explore while we're here. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, the the amount of combat actually that you have to do as Alan is not as commensurate to the amount of resources that you get as it is for Saga. She seems to get fewer resources and have more combat. Which is fine. That's the way we came up. not be tim why don't you open it for me mm -hmm. we'll come back to that interesting not where tim is mg uh yeah i i really wish i'd uh, had that second row of stuff now I definitely feel like I'm uh, missing out right the way that camera swung around then messed with my head a little bit 
Right. This is where we need to switch. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Don't you fucking move, or I'll blow you away. You got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And they will overlap. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why did he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site? Huh. Huh. The the amount of speculation that I'm doing is very fun, but it, it's also quite exhausting. It was locked from the other side. Are we on the other side of somewhere where we've already been? Where actually are we? There. No wakes here. Don't know what you're on about. Oops. Oh, this isn't part of the plot board, is it? So we can't change reality here. Ah, I'm stuck. Struggles when you do that, it must be said. Nobody here but us writers. Whee! Right, am I... I'm in the wrong version of reality. Still in the wrong version of reality. door which was not there previously yes we have to be in this one because we can't get i'll get through there otherwise right we need to go to the projection booth the question is how do we get there because we couldn't climb back up here unless uh unless this changes things for us ah yes good i want to go down here fuck off no why do i keep doing that
Oh. That's not interesting. A darkness bolt, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Weak. Right, okay. So. So we need to get past these boys, I guess. Damn it! What am I stuck on? God, I'm bad at the combat in this game. Oh, will the door up here be open now? Ah, it is. So it's only open in this version of reality. Ah, dear. Dear, 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 dear. Oh, it's here. Projection booth. Right, that's a theatre hall. That's... Now, the projection booth's got to be above us. Unless we can... Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. Will this? This was dark, but the story had to be dark. Wake. 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 Can we use the door on the screen? in a maze of film equipment there had to be a way to the projection booth from here I wasn't alone 
Uh oh. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. The grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. We're going to end up shooting Casey here, aren't we? That's my prediction that we're going to end up ending Casey in this story the way we ended him in the book. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. Yay. I had to keep going. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Who, who was that? Who said that? The grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. Yeah, I wonder if there's a specific way. The Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. Nope. Not that way then. Hold on. There's another door. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to do it. Show yourself. Who, who was that? Who said that? That's a real clever trick, asshole. You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, it's Casey shouting at himself. And the door is no longer here. The door is now here. of the writer i assume that's what all of the alan related tv things i was back at the beginning again i had to keep going i'm finding ways to murder city show yourself who, who was that who Shut said that that's a real who's there <laughs> Look, you got the wrong guy. I, I'm not Alex Casey. I only play him in the movies. He's just a fictional character. What, 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 what's going on here? Oh, some light. You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way forward. The ritual sacrifice to open the way. No. <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. Just leave the knife where it is. In the back. And go. The knife in the back? Everything about this was absurd. Our dialogue forced and ridiculous. In desperate need of another pass. Uh huh. But I'd play along to see where it took me. Yeah. But at the risk of becoming the monster I'll get you I'll get all you fuckers he 
knife. Oh no! Oh no you don't! You'll be sorry! But we don't have any other... What the fuck? I always like... Whoa. The computer doesn't like... I like mind-bending uh, sections like this in video games. I've always been a big fan of the video game loop. Uh, this is Coffee World. being overlaid it was getting close which is why i suppose ilmos as part of the cult leader uh that's a lot of piles to type uh, no Yes. Come, Alex Casey. You've done well. You've played your role perfectly. Everything out of your mouth is a damn lie. The only place any of this makes any sense is in your psychotic brain. As a fictional character in a story, you've fulfilled your purpose. You've brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, no, no. I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers. How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! And welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first... Here's an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions were getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Because technically, Alan... This Alan, the Alan that we are playing as, is not actually Alan. We are a version of Alan that he is writing in order to rewrite reality as part of his story. So the real Alan, real Alan, is in the writer's room writing this. Which is why we've got the, nar the, the narrative. I think I'm right with that. But it's the still that kind of blending of well, is he the Thomas is he a Thomas Stone creation, etc. That I've that I've gone on about to death already, so I'm not going to reiterate here. Wait, dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? So we have to go back, and we've now got color. Back in the overlap. A murder site. Gold. The mask was the key. Goals zero. Oh. Oh, it's the cops. Oh, and the mask we make appear for Saga. This is how I could help her. Oh! Saga Anderson, listen. Are we working backwards? I've been Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. 
help him escape. He could have a scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have family in the horror story? I was closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still That's lose that fountain statue thing. Parliament Tower. Is back. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. Oh. End of parts. The the layers of meta narrative to this are in my opinion very compelling indeed i can see why some people would find this repetitive possibly um i'm not one of those people you know i i'm deeply enthralled in what this is doing and where it is going it's not complicated gameplay but it is complicated storytelling and it's not going to be for everyone but i suspect that if you played alan wake and to an extent if you played quantum break and control you probably knew what you were getting into when you picked this up if you pick this up as a survival horror game you probably have enjoyed the saga bits maybe more than you had enjoyed the alan bits you know the alan bits is very much about creation and storytelling and stuff whereas the saga bits are more dealing with weird wackiness dark weird wack wackiness but weird wackiness nonetheless we must be getting close that was initiation eight wasn't it so i think there are there's 19 chapters to this story, I remember. So I'm assuming it's 9 for Saga, 9 for Alan. So onwards we go to what I'm guessing is Alan's final part. Please join me for that. It's probably going to be another short one if we're going back to Parliament Tower, if we're just going back to the apartment, but I could be wrong on that we'll find out next time join me for that and cheerio thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video why not click the like button and consider subscribing remember you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live and until next time cheerio